What's going on everyone, it's Hadex Gaming here again. But today I'm gonna to show you what the most overpowered range setup is and how to obtain it. First things first, if you're enjoying my NSS content, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Every little one helps. So in order, I'll be showing you what armor is the best, what weapon is the best and what other weapons come close in case one isn't your preferred style, what trinkets you will require, what enchantments you will need to pop on your weapons, armor, and trinkets. And then lastly, what food and potion buffs you'll need alongside any other buffs. After all that, I'll show you how easy it is to take on the final boss of the game with this setup. So if you don't want to see spoilers, don't watch that part. But if you want to skip to it, I'll have timestamps in the description below. So check that out if you're after anything in particular. So let's get into the nitty gritty details of this set. After some extensive testing, the armor you will want to equip is the Mycelium Range Armor with the Hood. This gives the following buffs. 5% crit chance, 5% range attack speed, 5% damage, 20% movement speed, and a total of 54 armor. With the full Mycelium Range Armor, you get the set bonus that allows you to be grounded to one spot on the floor, and it will increase your attack speed by 100% with a cooldown of 3 seconds, so be sure to utilize that when you get the chance to attack. I did try this out with the Ancient Fossil Armor, but it just doesn't do the same amount of damage per second, even with the 100% crit chance. Next up are the weapons. Now these are ranked in terms of damage per second. However, some are obtained earlier or later than others in the game, which make them more useful depending on when you get them. So the first by an absolute landslide is the Dualism Bow, dealing about 1,400 damage per second and obtained as a drop from Sage and Grit. Second, the Living Shoddy, dealing about 1,200 damage per second and obtained as a drop from the Pest Warden in the Deep Swamps. Third is the Antique Rifle, dealing about 1,000 damage per second and obtained from treasure chests in the Deep Desert Caves. And finally, the fourth is the Death Ripper, also dealing about 1,000 damage per second when it's at full firing speeds and is obtained from the Reaper Boss from the Deep Forest Caves. Now for the bows, you'll want to be using bone arrows as they deal the most damage out DPSing the other types of arrows. And for the guns, you'll want to be using void bullets as they are homing bullets and deal a ton of damage, but enable you to be nearly 100% accurate. I just want to make a quick note that I did try out the great bows and whilst they can deal big hits, they ultimately at full fire rate deal less damage than their counterparts still. So when they get buffed, they may be more viable, but at the moment, they just aren't great. For the trinkets, you'll want a range foci because it gives 20% damage over the 15% that the balance foci gives. And you make up for that extra frost flame damage by equipping the frost flame trinket for the slow debuff against enemies and the fire damage over time. You'll also want the frozen wave for increased critical chance, which is what allows this damage, which is what allows this set to be a high damaging setup. The Assassin's Cowl for crit chance and projectile velocity. A bone hilt for armor piercing, making it extremely useful for end game monsters and bosses. And then finally the Explorer's Satchel for increased attack speed and movement speed. Then for the ability trinket, you can use whatever you want, but just make sure it has the right enchantment on it. So with the armor, trinkets and weapons out of the way, the enchantments you'll want on them as follows. The masterful enchantment on your weapon, as this gives 15% damage, 15% attack range, 10% attack speed, and 20% projectile velocity. On your armor and trinkets, you will want the 4% critical boosts. Now I did try a full identical set with the 4% damage boosts, but due to the fast firing rates of the weapons and bows, you'll be hitting critical hits frequently, which are then boosted by your frozen wave trinket, making them out DPS your regular damage builds. As an example, here's the critical set with an antique rifle. And now here is an example of the exact same set, but with the 4% damage boosts. Now 
Now this is all without the crit enhancing buffs and things like that. So with everything equipped at once, you can expect a more frequent critical hit rate, making it even stronger. That being said, for the rest of the buffs, you are going to want the Lemon Tart food buff for 10% damage, 10% crit chance, and an extra eight armor penetration. And then for the potions, you will want accuracy, attack speed, web, battle, rapid, thorns, and range of potions. If you want to increase your damage even further, you can place a yellow banner for 15% damage, and then a blue one for 15% speed increase. Feel free to pop in the gray one and the other colored one if you feel the need to use them. The gray one gives you extra defense, so it's always nice to have. Feel free to use any other potions you want as well, but these are just the main ones that gave you extra damage. So, with everything all equipped and buffed up, this is what you can achieve. 40% damage, 30% range damage, 75% crit chance, 25% crit damage, 28 armor penetration, 60% movement speed, 54 armor, 10% damage reduction, 25% attack speed, 5% ranged attack speed, and 100% projectile velocity. So with everything covered, I'm just gonna pop it up on screen for you guys to see. Just give it a pause if you need more time to look at it. Otherwise, stick around and watch me defeat the final boss. Remember, if you're enjoying my content or wanna see this live, visit me over on twitch.tv slash hatex underscore gaming. Or if you're just sticking around on YouTube, give the like button a quick like or subscribe to the channel to see more. And until then, I hope to see you next time. Enjoy.